over the years the telecom sector has contributed significantly to the growth of the indian economy india today is witnessing exponential growth in terms of telecom subscribers to fathom this rise it is important to first understand the evolution of the telecommunications sector let us go back in time the evolution of telecommunications sector can be categorized in three stages the first stage which lasted till 1990 was a period where the telecommunications sector was owned and run by the government telephone services in india began in a small scale with the commissioning of a 50 line manual telephone exchange in 1882 in kolkata This was less than 5 years after the invention of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell. In the pre-independence era, all major cities and towns in the country were connected with fixed line telephones. Post-independence, growth remained slow as the telephone was seen more as a status symbol rather than being an instrument of utility. India had approximately 82,000 telephone connections at the time of independence and by 1984 the number of connections had slowly risen to 3.05 million. It was during the state owned era in the year 1985 that the Department of Telecom or DOT separated from Indian Post and Telecommunication Department. The DOT was responsible for telecom services in entire country until 1986. In this very year, Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited or MTNL and Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited or VSNL were carved out of DOT to run the telecom services of metro cities which included Delhi and Mumbai and international long distance operations respectively. The stage was set for India to enter the second phase in the evolution of the telecommunications sector. In 1994, the government introduced the National Telecommunications Policy or NTP. This policy clearly laid down the role of the private operators. The country was divided into different circles which includes the four metros when mobile phones were introduced. Today, there are 23 circles across the country. Separate licenses were given out for each of the circles in 1994. The circles were classified as metros A, B or C depending upon the revenue potential for the circle. Cellular services were first launched in 1995 in Kolkata then Calcutta. Another milestone during this era was the formation of TRAI short for the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. TRAI regulates the environment in order to ensure a fair and level playing field for both operators and subscribers. To regulate and streamline the sector in 2000 a third body was constituted the Telecom Dispute Settlement and Appellate Tribunal or TDSAT. The TDSAT settles dispute between operators operators and the government as well as subscribers and operators. The government also corporatized the operations wing of DOT on 1st October 2000 and named it as Department of Telecommunications Services or DTS which was later named as Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited or BSNL. Telephone subscriptions kept growing at a steady pace during this period. Operators brought in a lot of innovations like outsourcing of networks, focus on prepaid etc. to make mobile services affordable to the masses because of all these factors the service fees finally reduced and the call costs were cut greatly thus enabling every common middle class family in india to afford a cell phone after march 2000 the government became more liberal and issuing more licenses to private operators in every circle and reducing license fees This led to a phase of profitable growth for operators. As a result, the number of telephone subscriptions grew phenomenally from 2001 onwards. This ushered in the third stage in the evolution of the telecommunications sector. The third stage of the evolution of the telecommunications sector can in itself be divided into two parts. The first part which begins from 2000 to 2010 is touted as the golden age of telecom 
while the period from 2010 onwards is the age of redefinition. In the golden era, the number of mobile phone connections rapidly crossed the number of fixed line connections. Presently, mobile phone connections dwarf the fixed line segment by a ratio of around 20 is to 1. The mobile subscriber base has grown from 2 million subscribers in 2000 to over 996 million subscribers as of 2015. Multiple innovations in this phase such as calling party pays or CPP in 2003, the introduction of lifetime validity products in 2005 and the advent of 2G or second generation network operations which opened up the internet on mobile phones all contributed to this. In 2005, the government increased the foreign direct investment or FDI limit in the telecommunications sector from 49 to 74%. This allowed more operators to gain licenses to operate. Today, there are multiple operators in each circle across the country. The Indian telecom market is amongst the most competitive in the world. With time, as mobile penetration across the country continued to increase, operators constantly had to evolve their strategy. This was the start of the age of redefinition. In this age as well, the industry has continued to grow. Delinking of spectrum from licenses, constant evolution in technology, freeing up of more spectrum have all provided these boosts. A significant contributor to this phenomenal rise has been the introduction of 3G or third generation network in 2008 and 4G or fourth generation in 2012. The advent of 3G and 4G networks coupled with the introduction of smartphones brought mobile advertising, mobile commerce, video calling, streaming, full movie download, live TV and multiplayer gaming to everyone's handset. Over the last two decades, the Indian telecommunications sector has undergone a complete transformation. Driven by various policy initiatives, the sector has grown by leaps and bounds in the recent past. As we leap into the future, one thing is for sure, the telecom sector will continue to play a pivotal role.